Hello YouTube! I seriously haven't done a video, I think, since summer of 2011, and that's pretty sad. But, um, I decided to start YouTube again. Um, I've just been kind of, I've had a lot of time on my hands lately, now that school is half over I just finished my first semester exams so I have a little bit of free time on my hands right now um, and I stopped making videos in grade 11 I'm in 12th grade right now but um grade 11 I found just very busy and I didn't have a lot of uh, time to make videos anymore because I had started in the summer before grade 11 so they kind of just drifted off and I haven't made a video since I think the first week of grade 11 which was in 2011 and it's 2013 so I thought that even though it's a month into the year I would start up YouTube again so I'm going to try and post a video once a week, maybe once every two weeks, depending on my schedule, because I do have a job, and I'm still in school. I'm just starting in the next semester, which is four new classes, and they're a lot easier than my first semester, so hopefully I'll have more time on my hands to make videos. Um, but I wanted to start off my first video as kind of like a January favorites, because February is tomorrow, and I thought it would be a good start to my new line of videos. Um, excuse this hair. I am currently off school till Monday. Um, it's Thursday today. Um, so I'm kind of in sweats, hanging around the house. Not really doing anything too exciting. That's why my makeup is very subtle. I just have mascara on. Um... But I'm going to do my January favorites, so I'm going to get started. The first thing that I have been really liking in the month of January, and I got this over the Christmas break when Boxing Day sales were on and everything was on sale, because normally it's kind of a pricey item, but it is for your hair, and it is the BioSilk um, Silk Therapy. Um, this is the... 150 milliliter bottle. Um, there's all sorts of different sizes. I'm pretty sure there's a bigger one and there's a couple smaller sizes, but this stuff works amazing. You need the tiniest amount. It is very, very easy to make your hair greasy with this stuff if you use too much, but I got this at Trade Secrets. Um, it's just basically for people who don't know who, what Trade Secrets is, it's just a store that sells like nail polish, hair care products, hair tools, hair extensions, like makeup, like all sorts of things like that. Um, the regular price on this is $33. Um, that's kind of expensive for hair oil. I don't know. I... It's not as much, actually, as the macadamia oil. That's $50 a bottle, but my macadamia oil lasted me for two years, which is pretty good if you think about it. If you buy, um, if you use more of the less expensive stuff, but buy more, it more frequently, you're going to end up spending the same amount of money, so it, it doesn't really bother me that much. But yeah, BioSilk, very, very good for your hair. It just makes it so silky and easy to work with and tames frizz and just does everything. Um, the next thing is a hair care um, product again. Um, it's the Macadamia Natural Oil Hair Mask and this is the smaller um, tub. Um, it says it re it's a revitalizing hair reconstructor for dry damaged hair. Um, this stuff is amazing. It's it, again, it's kind of on the pricier side. It's thirty dollars for the um, how much is this? Two hundred fifty milliliter tub. Um, you can also get bigger ones in this. I think they're fifty, um, depending on what store you get it at. But um, what I do is I usually like once a week, uh, in the shower, I'll shampoo my hair and then I'll put this in for about ten minutes. It says to it says to leave it in for seven minutes, but what I do is I just wash my hair, put this in, do everything else I have to do in the shower, and then I just rinse it out when I'm done. 
Um, this is my second pot. I've already gone through one, so this is really full. Um, it smells amazing. Um, it's also really, really thick. I've tried a lot of hair masks just to see which ones work better. Um, a lot of them are very, very watery and not they don't hold to my hair when it's wet. So it just rinses out by the time I'm done my shower and I don't feel like it's doing anything to my hair. But this stuff does work. Um, it's actually really helped my hair. I get my hair streaked every three months-ish depending really on whether I want my roots to be four inches or not. Um, but what I, when I get my hair done, I get triple the amount of highlights with bleach. Um, it isn't blonde hair dye, it's um, actual bleach, so it really does a job on my hair. And um, this hair mask really, really helps. Um, the next thing for my January favorites are hair scrunchies. These are amazing. Um, this is one from American Apparel. It's just a velvet um, burgundy one. I really like the velvet ones because they're soft and I feel like they don't break your hair as much as the other like plasticky feeling ones. Um, I have another one and it's gold, but it's like uh, just like the material one. I don't really know how to explain the texture, but it's not velvet. It's not soft, but it's really cute. Um, Usually, if I'm, like, re running late in the morning for school, I'll just tie my hair back with one of these. Like, high, low, it doesn't really matter. Um, it both, they both look okay. Um, I got burgundy because it goes with every, like, mostly everything in my wardrobe. Um, but they're just really handy. Um, they're better than the hair elastics with the metal on them. I know it's bad that I have one on my wrist right now. Um, because they do pull and tug on your hair and your hair gets caught in the metal piece and scrunchies are known to be better for your hair in terms of pulling but um they're also really comfortable and they hold your hair in very secure because my hair tends to not hold at all in a ponytail no matter how many hair elastics I put in it it never stays so I really like those um another thing that I've been liking is this nail polish by L'Oreal it is called Butterfly Kisses. It's number 380. It's just like a pinky purple um, pastel kind of color. It's um, a little bit different than most pastel pinks. Um, I find that a lot of the pastel pinks look the same and they go on very, very sheer. Um, like you need at least three coats to make it look opaque, but this is a very, very, um, like it goes on very thick, so it doesn't really take a lot of coats to make it thick, um, which is convenient and less annoying, so you don't have to do three coats and not wear shoes for the whole day, and it's very cold to do that here because it's winter. Um, but yeah, I really like that color. Um, another thing that has to do with makeup for the month of January, this isn't really a January favorite, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's one of my favorite things, but I haven't, since I haven't made YouTube videos in a while, I decided to put it in my January favorites because you guys don't know about it, but it's the Hypno Doll Lash Mascara by Lancome. Um, this is the one, I'm pretty sure this is the darkest shade of black, I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, oh, it's called So Black 01 is the number, I don't know. But the wand is amazing. Um, this mascara is expensive, but, because it's Lancome, but it lasts a very long time and it does not dry out. I used to use the, um, uh, Bad Gal Lash by Benefit. That is a good mascara, except for it dries out very quickly and I was buying a lot of tubes like every month which seems like like very often for the price that it is because it I think it's around like 25 to 28 dollars this is 30 dollars maybe a little bit more and it lasts twice as long so I have to I end up spending less money um this mascara uh it holds curl very well my eyelashes are very long but they do not hold curl whatsoever. They're very straight. Um, I have to curl them like six times 
before I put my mascara on so they hold the curl. Um, this mascara works very well. Um, I have repurchased this twice, so I mean that tells me something that I really like it and I usually don't repurchase things I don't like and mascaras is a very hard thing for me to find. I have repurchased falsies before. I do like that mascara. Um, but I do enjoy the Lancome Hypno Doll Lash better. Um, another thing that I've been really liking in January, well, actually, I've been kind of obsessed with for the past, like, two or so, two or three months, um, is tea. And in my mall where I live, I have a David's Tea. Um, I don't have all my teas with me right now because I have, like, seriously 20 of them and I didn't want to bring them all upstairs. But I have the winter tea menu here to show you what it looks like. Um, basically it's loose tea and they have a bajillion different flavors, um, and a different kinds too. They have white, oolong, green, um, black, uh, rooibos, um, this one, I don't know how to say that word, but and mate, and yeah, they just have everything. Their teas are amazing. They all smell so good. Um, I have a few favorites. Um, a lot, one of them that I have repurchased is Organic Cream of Earl Grey. It's a black tea. It's very good. It's kind of a sweet tea, but um, I seriously drink like six cups of tea every day. It's a little bit getting um, a little bit out of hand. Um, but tea is good for you, so I don't see what the problem would be with that. Um, I don't think you can drink too much tea, but um, I really like it because it is winter and really cold out. It warms me up when I get home from school because I do walk there and back from school, and it's just kind of a comfort thing. Um, yeah. Um, the last thing for my January favorites, or second last I should say, is my slippers. Um, after Boxing Day, um, when all the sales were on, me and my mom went out shopping and we found the Ugg moccasin slipper thingies. Um, <laughs> I have the beige ones with the pink leather um, bow. You can, there's I think like five different colors. Um, my mom has the gray ones. Um, but these are really, really, really great. Like, they're so warm. You can wear them with bare feet or socks, and they don't smell. Um, um, they are a little bit on the pricey side, really, for slippers. Um, because they are the Ugg brand, you can get a lot of different slippers that are exactly like this that aren't as expensive. Um, but honestly, I think these, the quality of these is amazing. They do have the, a sole to them. I wouldn't wear these outside be, just because, like, they're so expensive. I really don't want to wreck them in the snow and stuff. Um, but, yeah, these are really great. Um, it really, the price really depends on what store you get them at. But they range, I would say, from $100 to, like, $120. Um, depending on where you get them, so you really have to shop around for them before you get the right, before you get the slippers that you want, because each store has a different price, I don't know why, but these are great. Um, the last thing that I've been really liking for January is beanies like this, like toques. Um, this is my Roxy one, I wear this a lot because it does have a fleece lining in the um, underside, so it's very warm. Um, I do wear these indoors and outdoors, like, all day long. Um, they also hide your hair if you haven't washed it in a few days. So, uh, not that I haven't, but, um, I don't know. They just tie outfits in together. I really like the look of beanies with big earrings. Um, I don't know. I'm just weird. Um, I have quite a few, I really like the Neff ones. Um, you can get them at like Boathouse or West 49, Paxson, like things like that. They are um, really, really thin, so they're comfortable. Like this one's really thick and warm, so sometimes it gets too hot. But the Neff ones are great. They stay on your head. Usually I have to bobby pin my beanies to my hair because they don't stay on because my hair is so, like, fine and, like, silky that it just seriously just slides off and it... It's just a mess. Um, but yeah, I really like beanies. Um, 
I have a lot, oh, they, I try to get colors that go with my clothes. I really, really would like more Neff ones. I do like the ones with different colors in them, like this one. This one has a pom-pom at the top. The Neff ones do come in solid colors, which I really like, and they don't have the pom-pom. But I really like the look of the loose beanie that hangs down at the bottom. This one doesn't do that, but um, my other ones do. But that is everything for my January favorites. Um, I hope that everybody liked it and that it helps some people out maybe on their next shopping spree. Um, I will be doing a February favorites. I'm going to Vermont in Montreal actually uh, at the end of February. So it might be a little bit into March that I make my February favorites. But I will be doing more videos. Um, Tell me what you want to see in the comments below, like, I know a lot of girls do room tours, what's in my bag, like, all sorts of things like that, everyday makeup, um, but let me know what you want to see or what you're interested in, um, I could do, I'm very open to everything, um, so yeah, bye!